welcome back and it was great having antonio french on the show he certainly brings a unique perspective and with us today to bring another perspective is the man from independence paul of voted the democratic leader of the missouri house of representatives representative of voter was first elected in two thousand two to represent voters in parts of independent south kansas city least summit and unity village in two thousand seven he was elected by his fellow democrats as their house democratic leader Thanks for making the trip in to see us, Representative. Glad to be here. Thank you. It's good to be, be with you. Here. Yeah. First, l let me ask you this question. You're working really hard to try to get the majority back. I mean, you're you're all over the state. I suspect two things. Are you going to do it? And if you do it, what's your priorities going to be? Well, the first question is the the main question. Can we do it? We're 11 seats behind now, and uh, in, in a historic year like this year, where you see a very strong movement for the Democratic Party, it's very much within reason that we can get 11 seats. And the reason we're able to do that is because we have strong candidates throughout the state. Um, St. Louis County, St. Charles County, Mid-Missouri, the Kansas City area. We have great candidates doing grassroots campaigns, knocking on doors. So we have a real opportunity to hit 11. In 2002, when the Republicans took control, they won 14 seats. So 11 is not out of the realm of possibility. Um, it's going to be it's going to be a stretch whenever you win a majority like that, but I feel very confident we can do that. And once we're there, our priorities are going to be three things. First, we're going to work on better access to health care in the state of Missouri. We're going to try to improve the economy in the state of Missouri, and then we're going to make higher education a little more affordable in the state of Missouri. What? And those all tie together. Let's talk a little bit about health care. What exactly do you have in mind? <clears throat> Well, in 2005, uh, Governor Blunt led the Republican legislature to cut 180,000 people off of health care. Um, that has increased uh, the uninsured rate in the state of Missouri, the number of people without health insurance. We've lost almost $2 billion in federal matching funds. It's hurt our economy, and it's hurt uh, access to health care all the way around. We believe that we reinstate those cuts. We have a bold initiative to cover all kids, and that will help uh, build access to health care, but also help our economy. Sounds like we're slipping into Midwest talking points there because we slipped into talking points on one the this money you're going to draw down. Let me ask you this: the economy is as bad as it is, and mm -hmm. you've got a vision to expand Medicare. Um, excuse me, Medicaid. How are you going to afford it? I mean, I think everybody, including Jay Nixon, has said no to tax cuts. But how are you going to be able to afford that kind of expansion? Well, it, it's real simple. There is supposedly a six hundred million dollar surplus. Um, we could take two hundred and fifty million of that as we proposed for several sessions, and then we draw down the federal money, we get back to where we were. And that way we start drawing that federal money, we have more people have access to health care, and our economy is, is in a better place in Missouri. Let's talk about some of the candidates. You've mentioned you have good candidates all over the state. Tell us about a couple races that are particularly competitive. Sure. I, I mean, I'll highlight uh, some right here in St. Louis County. Um, we have a candidate, Jeannie Kirkton, um, in a seat is term limited out. She's working very hard. Uh, she's an experienced person, part of the community. She's going to do very well. Another open seat, we have a candidate in Vicki England who's running very hard. That's always been a kind of a swing district. We feel confident about that area. We have a, uh, a candidate named Deb, named Deb Lavender running against an incumbent mm -hmm. in an area that's been uh, traditionally Republican but trending more Democrat. She's working very hard knocking doors. Um, there's three right there. St. Charles County, is becoming more democratic year by year. Uh, Mid Missouri, which has been traditionally, uh, rural Missouri has been traditionally for Republicans. We have great candidates in Dave Moen, Chris Kelly, Gail Brown. Um, these are people who fit their district. They're not um, ideologues. They believe in representing their district first. And that's what they'll do when they're in Jefferson City. They're not going to care about who the governor is or who their leader is in the legislature. They're going to represent their district first. So. There, I just mentioned, what, seven there? <laughs> right. And I haven't even got to the Kansas City area. You can see with the math, we have a real opportunity to win back the house. It's got to be hard to keep track of that many candidates at a time. It's hard to keep track, and, you know, they all bring different strengths. Some are good in the field. Some are good at the fundraising. Some are good with their uh, knowledge in the district. And what we're trying to do, our caucus, is to uh, have a uh, structure of support for them to kind of fill in the gaps when they need the additional help. Does, uh, does Senator Obama, being the presidential candidate, and Governor Nixon, how do those impact your local races? A house race is really about your neighbors, mm -hmm. you know, your, your extended neighbors. How are you finding that Senator Obama and Governor Nixon, excuse me, Attorney General Nixon, uh, oh, Freudian, Freudian. Slip, God help me, but uh, <laughs> right. yeah, well, how's that impacting? Because you'll hear different kinds of 
criticisms and questions about the impacts. Sure. I, I guess I would say that the number one reason a state rep candidate wins is because of their effort and that they fit the district and how well they communicate. With that said, you see the Obama campaign with the energy they have and the structure they have. Forty offices around the state, 150 staff members. They have uh, registered a lot of Democrats. They have high enthusiasm. Structurally, that's going to help our candidates. Um, the fact that Jay Nixon is running well, Jay Nixon has led a very strong organization of the Democratic Party to ID many, many people throughout the state we didn't have before. So uh, what they bring is a structural um, uh, assistance that these candidates can't have on their own. Um, and just make sure I'm repeating myself, make sure I'm very clear. That doesn't make us win the House. It's our candidates and the commitment that they have, the hard work they have, and the caucus behind it is what really will get it done. Um, these other candidates are running strong at the top, but they could just assist us. Yeah, there's a big difference. A state rep candidate has to knock on a lot of doors. Mm -hmm. A presidential candidate, for example, is going to have other priorities. We'll right. have volunteers, but has I, it been hard to recruit volunteers this year? It re it's, it's been interesting to recruit because what I've been doing around the state is talking about the message about real change. And if you want real change in the state of Missouri, when it comes to health care, the economy, transportation, you need a House of Representatives that's going to bring that. You don't want to continue with a Republican legislature that, to me, was a rubber stamp of other priorities. You need that real change. People are excited about change. They think that Senator Obama and uh, Attorney General Nixon can bring that. But what I've been trying to tell everybody in the state is you need to get involved in your local race. You need to make sure that they're elected, and it's a little easier to do to knock on um, you know, 9,000 doors in the district than trying to hit a statewide right. campaign. Well, if, I think if we had time, I'd ask you all about ACORN on your side of the state and issues of, of voter registration, but I think we're out of time. So I think... I, I, I wouldn't know about that anyway, but I can tell you there's a lot of enthusiasm and we have a real opportunity, and uh, I'm just so proud to lead the Democrat Caucus because uh, it's a group of courageous people who care about the people of the state and are capitalizing on this wave and not just sitting around letting it happen. Thank you so much for being here with us Thank today. You Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thanks. Next up, Mindy and I look at an ad from Republican Blaine Lutkemeyer and one from a group hoping to change the gaming laws right here in Missouri. Stay with us. You're watching Midwest Talking Points on Charter Communications.